Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the law of conservation of energy. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. Although it may be transformed from one form to another. The total energy before and after the transformation remains the same. The law of conservation of energy is valid in all situation and for all kinds of transformation. Let us understand this by an example. Consider an object of mass m. Let an object of mass m be made to fall freely from a height h. So here you can see that the object of mass m is falling from a height of h. At the initial point of the start point, the potential energy is mgh and the kinetic energy is zero. It is zero because its velocity is zero. Thus, the total energy of the object is mgh. As it falls, its potential energy decreases and the kinetic energy increases. If v is the velocity of the object at a given instant, the kinetic energy would be half mv squared. So, we know that the formula for kinetic energy is half mv squared. So, at any instant, if we consider that the mass is falling with the velocity of v, then the kinetic energy would be half mv squared apart from the start point because here v is 0. Hence, the kinetic energy is half into m into 0 which is 0. Only the potential energy will exist at this point. When the object reaches the ground, h is equal to 0 and v will be the highest. Therefore, the kinetic energy will be the largest and potential energy is the least. Why is it so? Because when it is about to reach the ground, the h is 0. Therefore, potential energy's formula which is mgh becomes m into g into 0. Whereas, v is the highest. That is, half mv square is the most. Hence, the kinetic energy is the most and potential energy is the least. However, the sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy of the object would be same at all point. That is potential energy plus kinetic energy equal to constant. That is mgh plus half mv square equal to constant. Now let us understand it by some examples. Let us consider an object of mass 20 kg is dropped from a height of 4 meter and the g is 10 meter per second square. Now you have to find what is the potential energy and the kinetic energy of this particular object. Now we know that the formula of potential energy is mgh. Hence we can write potential energy equal to 20 into 10 into 4 that is 800 joule. So here in the question we it is given that the mass was 20 kg. So we put 20 in the place of m and the acceleration due to gravity or g was 10 meter per second square. Hence we put 10 in the place of g and we know at what height it is being dropped from. So it was 4 meter. Hence we put 4 in the place of h. So potential energy is 800 joule. But for kinetic energy we have learned at the before as well that at the initial point the velocity is zero. Since the object is just dropped, the velocity of the ball that is v equal to zero meter per second. Hence, kinetic energy which is half mv square equal to zero. So, the velocity at the initial point that is here it is zero. Hence, we are multiplying half into m into 0 which is given us 0 joule. Now if I ask you to find the potential energy and kinetic energy at height of 3 meter then what will you do? So the formula for potential energy is Pe that is potential energy equal to mgh that is 20 into 10 into 3 that is 600 joule because here only the height changed. Rest of this are same. 
that is the mass is still the 20 kg that is why we have put 20 in place of m the acceleration due to gravity that is g is 10 meter per second square hence we have put 10 in the place of g the height changed from 4 meter to 3 meter hence we have put 3 in the place of h that is giving us 600 joule but if we have to find kinetic energy at 3 meter how will you do it first we have to find the velocity of that particular object at 3 meter suppose 3 meter is from here to here so at particular 3 meter you need to know what is the velocity of this object of mass 20 kg for that we have to know the third equation of motion which gives us v square minus u square that is 2as and from here we can say s is equal to v square minus u square by 2a so at the initial point the value of u is 0 the acceleration due to gravity a or it can be also written as g is 10 and the displacement this is not the height this is displacement that is from here to here what is the displacement displacement or distance traveled equal to s that is 4 minus 3 that is 1 so the mass have already traveled from 4 meter to 3 meter so in between the distance it traveled was 1 meter so we are putting 1 in the place of s equal to v square minus 0 by 2 into 10 so we are putting 1 in the place of s the v square is unknown to us at the initial point the velocity is 0 and we know the value of a or acceleration due to gravity that is 10 which is giving us v square equal to 20 so if we put this in the formula of kinetic energy that is half mv square we get 200 joule so from here we get the v square formula or the value of v square that is why we are putting 20 in place of v square we know the mass was given as 20 kg so we are multiplying half into 20 into 20 which is giving us 200 joule that would be the end of the video thank you for listening